Have you ever pondered the future of farming? What role will robots play in shaping it? Welcome to a world where the lines between science fiction and reality blur. A world where robots are no longer just the stuff of imagination, but a tangible part of our everyday lives, including the way we cultivate and harvest our food. In the vast expanses of farmland, robots are becoming an increasingly common sight, carrying out a myriad of tasks with precision and efficiency. From planting seeds in perfect rows to maintaining crops and even harvesting millions of acres of farmland, these mechanical marvels are revolutionizing the way we produce food. As we delve into the varied tasks that these robotic farmhands are capable of, we'll also consider the potential for a major shift in the agricultural sector. This is not just about replacing human labor, but about enhancing it, making it more productive, sustainable and efficient. As we delve deeper into this topic, we'll explore the contrast between traditional farming methods and this new robotic approach. For centuries, farmers have relied on manual labor and simple tools to cultivate their crops. This time-tested approach has its merits. It allows farmers to react swiftly to unexpected weather conditions, preserving crops that might otherwise be lost. It also keeps alive generations of local farming knowledge and techniques, passed down from farmer to farmer, parent to child. Yet the old ways are not without their disadvantages. Traditional farming is labor-intensive, often requiring an army of workers toiling under the sun. It can be inefficient, with each acre requiring countless hours of human effort. And some practices, like excessive tilling, can degrade the soil and harm the environment. The world is changing, and so too must our farming methods. We need an approach that marries the best aspects of the old ways with the advantages of the new. We need a system that's efficient, sustainable and less dependent on manual labor. While traditional farming methods have served us well, the changing world calls for innovation. Enter robotic farming. Imagine a farm where robots handle everything from planting seeds to harvesting crops. This is not a scene from a science fiction movie, but a glimpse into the future of agriculture. Robotic farming promises a wealth of benefits. First and foremost, efficiency. Robots don't tire, they don't need breaks, and they can work around the clock. This means crops can be planted, tended to, and harvested with unprecedented speed and precision. The need for manual labor also significantly decreases. This could be a boon in regions where labor shortages are a persistent problem, allowing for steady, reliable crop production regardless of human workforce availability. Then there's the potential for more sustainable farming practices. Robots can be programmed to use resources like water and fertilizer more efficiently, reducing waste and minimizing the ecological footprint of agriculture. But like all technologies, robotic farming comes with its own set of challenges. The initial investment in these machines is substantial, a hurdle that could put them out of reach for smaller farms. And let's not forget the ongoing maintenance costs, which could also be considerable. Then there's the human element. In communities where farming is a major source of employment, there's the very real concern that robots could displace human workers, leading to job losses and economic instability. The potential of robotic farming is clear, but the transition won't be without its challenges. Our task is to navigate these challenges and to ensure that the future of agriculture is both technologically advanced and socially responsible. The question then becomes, how can we combine the best of traditional farming with the benefits of robotic technology? The key to this conundrum may lie in a hybrid approach, an amalgamation of the old and the new, the human and the robotic. Imagine a world where the farmer and the robot work side by side, each contributing their unique strengths to the task at hand. The farmer, with their years of experience and intimate knowledge of the land, working together with the robot, with its tireless efficiency and precision. To make this vision a reality, we need to address some of the challenges that come with robotic farming. For one, we need comprehensive training programs that equip farmers with the skills to use and maintain this new technology. After all, a robot is only as good as the person operating it. And let's not forget, these robots can be expensive. So we also need government support to help farmers transition smoothly into this brave new world of farming. This isn't about replacing the farmer. Rather, it's about enhancing their capabilities, freeing them from tedious tasks so they can focus on what they do best. It's about working smarter, not harder. In the end, the future of farming may not be a question of humans versus robots, but rather how we can work together to feed our growing world.